Hi, you welcome to Sastic View. My name is Belen Bess, and this is your real, 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 real reality reading. And I'm gonna. Diddy, can you turn the TV off? Just give me one second to get set up here. This is your three month reading. And let's just see what's going on. Okay. You will hear gunshots fired in the background. Shots will be fired in the background. That is Fortnite, okay? Today has been a long day. From the top of the reading, the card you're talking about, when it comes down to finances, you're going to be headed in another direction. There's, that, there, there's some type of inner sadness with uh, how you're looking at a relationship. You're not getting what you're wanting out of it, so you may have ended it, okay? Also, with some type of situation, there's going to be some type of recommunication back with this individual that may make you rethink how you're feeling about the situation. I do feel that you are waiting on something financial for the better. You're trying to see where you can weigh your time, waiting on this situation or waiting on that situation. It's becoming very clear that you want love in your life, but there is something about the communication that's going to be off here. Now, I do see, show to Towards the end of the month, you guys may get on the same page. Uh, there's some type of change in July between you and this individual, but currently everything looks on hold. And I feel like it's on hold by this individual. You're waiting on something. You're trying to, it's something financial and it's something, it's almost like, um, I don't want to go too far because I don't, I'm, I'm not good at guessing. So I'm just going to say you have two things that are changing. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. one is relationship. One has everything to do with waiting on something in income or is something worth the wait. Should I wait? My, you should do both. The relationship isn't working out. Still go on your career goals, okay? That's what's coming up for the first time frame, okay? For the second time frame, once again, yes, I'm just going to change the dynamics of that relationship, but it's not going to change the way that you want it. I think some things are going to be straightened out and some communications are going to be sought out. You're going to be seeing some, you're going to be getting clear on some things that you thought about this individual. Now, you and this individual coming together wholeheartedly right now, this person is still holding back and still taking their time. Okay, I feel like you just need to change directions right now. Also, in changing directions, communications are going to come back in again here he comes again it's like every time you leave here he comes playing the rat race with you it's okay if it can just be consistently in the month of july it's going to be consistent can't you believe that girl can't yeah. you believe can't you believe that he gonna be consistent so he's gonna be a little bit consistent here for you okay so then you're going to rethink those things. Now, once that situation happens, it's going to lay some emotions storming for you. So you may get some type of release here. But I still feel like you're not trusting it. Now, money is on the table. Whatever career goals are coming in that time frame, continue to do this. Balance how you feel. And just because you're not seeing it the way you wanted to see it, does not mean that the situation is not going to work out. This individual has a way of doing things. And I got strategy everywhere because I can't look, look. He got strategy. And I can't tell you if you're going to end up with him. I can't tell you if, if, if you can see yourself clear in the situation. What I can say is you can see yourself clear on a one-on-one -on -one level. Think about you. Think about your confidence. Whatever he is doing for you, and you can do it for yourself. I'm talking from a single perspective. Whatever he is doing for you, you can do for yourself. Maybe you should just step your game up in that relationship. And if he can't meet that, he couldn't meet the first one because clearly there's communications here. you got to change it inward. Because at some point, you're going to feel like you've done something with all this back and forth and forth. you got to go ahead and step your level up. And he can't level up with you, then you know for damn sure that this is not the one for you. Because he didn't even try to do anything before then. This is just a little pep talk. Nothing to take you off your course. Double the money towards the end of the next hexagram month. You're going to be traveling towards ending something that you did not want to do. It was whatever you, it was you was waiting on. You're going to have to do something you didn't want to do. And you may have to come from where you are and go somewhere else and make the decision. Whatever that is. But I, I don't know what it is. But just be warned for something ending that following month. It looks like something between you and that individual is going good. It looks a little bit more together. It looks like somebody has gathered the ladders. Somebody has put branch on the... I'm hungry. Somebody has put branch on the salad, honey. The red onions are baking. Things are coming together. It's like two vapors. It's starting to cloud. You're going to see this come together in July. Oh, if you're looking for perfection or total commitment, yeah, uh -uh. it's going to be better than what it was, okay? So this is what's going on for the last month for you. 
And I'm going to finish this last. I'm going to do it so you can see me. So this last month is all about, yeah, this relationship. Some type of way you just still not satisfied with the status quo. I told you it will come together. But I didn't say it was going to be perfect, okay? It's going to be better than what it was before. That's why you have to step your standard up. You have to step your game up just a little bit for yourself to see if, am I slacking or wagging here? Kind of step your game up a little bit and kind of change your self-esteem currently right now. Now, like I said, I do see this man not letting you go. I do see the situation uh, needing to needing to make a turnaround and a new judgment. And it will in August, too. That's what I'm telling you, sis. This person is really following you on the cool. He's really, and he's not running behind you. He's not gone. So if he's not gone, then this is a pure opportunity to step the game up. You can't go with him about relationship. You have to go to him about the communication. Because it's going to take the communication to bring in the relationship and action. So you want to you want to step the game up with him and just be a little forceful with communication. He gets to snapping and rolling his neck and doing a, uh, honey, good night. See if you can step your game up a little bit with him. And that's how you can see, you know, some people are a little bit tough. If you feel like he, I'm not saying what he tell you. If you feel like he's trying to be with you, do that. If you know damn well deep in your soul he ain't trying, but you seeing that he trying, move on. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't see anything in a bad eye here. I just see where things are going to start to come together like really, really slow. Like a piece of yarn and a hole twisting. It's going to be really, really, really slow. You're still going to be exploring your relationships in your life. Who you love, who you don't love. You do have two incomes. One's going to start in July, okay? You are traveling towards being happy with someone. <laughs> we just going to wait out and see. Stick with them. Damn right to be able to tell you that. Stick with them. Stick with them. I know. Step your game up. Stick with them. Detach. Goal number one in this situation, since, since we're here, since I'm so happy about August. I'm, I'm happy about August. I'm going to let you wait and see what happens in August. But I'm going to tell you this. I love it. Because remember, I told you it started to come together in July. You still tripping and popping and snapping your neck and rolling. And he's still like, what is wrong with her? He does things different than everybody else does. Has to for these cars to end like this. My advice to you is sit back and chill. He ain't going nowhere. Don't call. Don't nothing. He don't call you. It don't matter. He going to move when he ready to move, babe. And it's going to be in July. It's going to come together. And you may end it. But it's not over yet. You're going to see an August at the relationship. You're going to be so much relaxed by the end of July. Going into August. That second half is all about money. And then, girl, I, I don't know what happened. It, what happened? It's like you was thinking about moving away. Thinking about love and what you want in love and money is looking good. And all of a sudden, girl, he shows up and shows out. He pops up in the, in the relationship. He moves towards you in a happy way. He's opening up. He really opens up in August. So if you're having a relationship that isn't so good, there's only one person in your cards. I need you to take a step back. Go live your life. Work your job. He's going to be slow. Don't think about cheating and all of that. Y'all you know, going to be together because he ain't promised you nothing yet. So you got to go off your own wits. Raise your self-confidence. Be strong. Be powerful. Don't get off course with him. This is a one-track mind man. Everything that you're going to bring to him, it will be taught from you. So we don't want to get all over the place with emotions first because you're going to scare him off. Stay in that lane. And let's get facts and conversation going first. We want facts and conversations in July. Put them facts and come. That's all. You don't got to never go nowhere with him. He don't never want to take you out. Slap that conversation because you need him to open up. He will, but it's going. It's, it's going. I'm telling you to do it in July. It's because that's when he's going to be opening up. So he's going to be taking in whatever you're saying. He's going to be okay with what you're saying versus you were feeling the past. Like he didn't hear shit you said. Now, since he's opening up and he's blowing, and then he'll take in more air to breathe out. So he's going to be listening to you. So you need to take that time to communicate. Don't talk about no relationship. Just talk to him like y'all friends. Don't talk relationship. Don't talk what we're doing. If he asks you to go somewhere yeah, at the beginning, do the little kitty chase. You know the kitty chase, girl. No. 
<laughs> God bless you. You have a good day. And I hope you enjoyed this. It's going to work out. Quit worrying about it. You don't have no reason to be worried about anything. Just remember this. You sing what he sing. You ain't with him. So don't be worried about who he messing with. Because that's what he going to do. And that's what you're going to do. And that's what you should be doing. You should date and float with your leopards until things work out. If you want this man, you're going to have to wait to August. God bless.